Okay, in question six, we've got P of X. It's a polynomial, it's a cubic. And then we've got to use the factor theorem to show that this is a factor. So let's show that. So our final bit, our end point is going to be stating that. Okay, uh, how do we show that that's true? Well, because we have to use the factor theorem, what I don't do at this stage is the grid. Okay, um, we have to use the factor theorem and that's the magic X method. So the magic X, okay, is when... Okay, something about x plus 1. The thing we want to be a factor, okay, has to equal a particular thing. So the value of x that we'll have to use is a particular thing. So I do p of that value of x, and I get a particular answer, um, which enables me to claim that um, x plus 1 is a factor of p of x, which I write down. So look in your notes if you've forgotten how to do that, okay. But we call that the magic x method, okay. And then in uh, 6 uh, a dotted 2, we've now got to express it as the product of three linear factors. So we've actually got to factorize the whole thing. So um, we do use the grid method. We know that x plus 1 is now a factor. We fill in the grid. Okay. There's no x squared term in this polynomial, but I still have to consider x squared. Okay. Whatever I put up here, well, it's going to be, I need an x cubed. So I'm going to be having an x cubed there. So there will be an x squared there. So there will be x squareds here. So I'm going to need some more x squareds there so that these combine to give zero x squared. So even if x squared is missing, you still consider it in your grid. Okay. Once you've got uh, x plus one times another quadratic factor here, you're then going to factorize this quadratic and you're going to end up with a product of three linear factors like what they say. Okay, and then part B of the question you can't do yet, so we're going to leave that one there.